Hi, I'm going to give an overview now of the record and the playback facilities with the 4 channel uh, 960 HDVR. So the first thing to note is that when we install a hard drive into this, by default it will automatically start recording. Okay. So um, the other thing to say is that in the settings that it will automatically record on all 4 channels. So what we have here is we have just one of the 4 cameras connected. And if I come along and I hit the record button, which is just on the front of the box or on the remote control, I can come along and we can see that it's recording on all four channels, including the channels that are currently getting no video feed. If I want to stop recording, I can just hit the record button here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come along and I'm just going to right click here, bring up the main menu, and I am going to go into config, I'm going to go into record, and I can see that by default all four cameras are chosen and all four audios are turned off. So just say I had a camera that actually had audio and um, things and I was only in camera one. I can come along, I can click apply. It's applied successfully and now we just exit out. And I'll just go back all the way, kill the menu, go back to the main screen here now. Now if I come along and I press the record button, start recording, it'll just record this one channel. So we see there's no record error. So we can see how we can specify that. So I'll just stop recording again, very easy again, and very quick reaction from the time I press to it actually occurring. Um, if we go in here, we'll say, the other way to schedule it in terms of thing, it would be click on actual schedule. So what I can do is I can actually come along here and I can say, well, these are the days that I'd like to record. And uh, I'd like to record on, on a Sunday all the way up on eight o'clock. Uh, and so it's in one hour blocks, so it's uh, over 24 blocks, we'll say. And then we have each day of the week there. So I say to myself, well, actually, that's quite good. And I don't want to record on, uh, I just want to record on channel one on that particular thing. And I'd like to apply that to channel two. What I can actually do here is I can just go and I click copy. And I can apply things and we save the config. And now if we flick over to channel two or um, camera two, We'll see it'll be the same settings here where we flick the channel three probably by default no recordings on it so we can see how we can schedule it uh, or rather than just have it on continuous record so um, we have a motion section here as well where we can put in we'll say that it'll be triggered by certain motion etc but um i won't go into this this is sort of our look we're more professional units than this although this has a huge number of features on it when i come along then will say to do, actually do the playback here, what I'm going to do very quickly is I'll just go into data search here. And what I can do here is I can actually specify which camera I want to play back and over what time period. So I'm going to specify for the whole day and I'll just start off the first recording it finds because obviously we're working here at one o'clock in the morning and it's just in today's. And this is just a, a video from earlier on. And we can actually focus in here on it. Uh, we can click in on the single thing. So I can go here. And what we can do is we can forward, fast forward, uh, rewind, um, and what I can do here is we'll say, uh, I can play back at four times, eight times, so there's no movement here, but you can see at the bottom and how fast the clock is going. I uh, can just hit stop here, etc. So that's it anyway, just an overview of both the recording and the playback functionality on the four channel DVR.